Hello everyone, um, welcome back to... Hello guys. Hello, hello this is Emily. Um, we're cooking, we're going to make something really super cool today. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is a new channel. Uh, getting myself out there, got a little bit of extra time. Uh, what's it called Emily? It's called... Kenita! Kenita, you got it. Or what else am I known to you as? Da, 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 da. Daddy. Daddy. Just, yeah, just so you know. Do subscribe if you want the recipe. Go to www.pitchrestaurant.co.uk. You can download them, you can print them, you can whack them up on the wall, you can make a special book. Um, and yeah, whatever you want really, which is cool, isn't it? Yeah. So today we're making, basically it's a, a play on a sweet Yorkshire pudding. It's a really, uh, it's a really amazing dessert. It's one of those ones that you bring to the table. It's a showstopper, but it's so, so simple. So it's called a Peach Melba Dutch Baby. Well, I'm going to make it a Peach Melba, but it's actually known as a Dutch Baby, which is just like a big parrot. Yeah, it's going to all puff up. It's going to puff up, exactly. So, can you crack on, Emily? Yeah. Right, cool. So, to make this, uh, again, you've got the recipe. You need a few things. You need three eggs, 100 grams of flour. Milk? Milk, 150 milliliters of milk. Butter. A little knob of butter, yeah. Um, you've got nutmeg, cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. Simple as that. So, what we're going to do, Emily, just in a mixing bowl. Oh, yeah, and the topping, sorry. You've got some. With uh, obviously, and a peach. peach and yeah. Sugar. Yeah, so obviously, a peach melba, uh, generally it's raspberries, but hey, look, I just had some frozen berries. It's whatever's in your freezer. Uh, don't stress yourself out, it's still going to be super tasty. I've got some lovely tin peaches there. I actually love a tin peach. I just like it with cream, which is really nice. And then we've got some uh, sugar as well, that goes in the pancake. And then and this, which is... another kind of sugar. Yeah, what sort of sugar is that, Powder sugar? Powder sugar. Powder sugar. Powder sugar. Right, should we make it? Let's go. So, first of all, we need some eggs. eggs. So, we're going to crack in. So, Emily, one you're going to crack one in for me? Okay. I'm going to crack one. We're going on the side, that's it. Lovely, that uh, whack. And again, oh. Oh. oh, God, don't put it in the bowl. <laughs> put it in the bowl, open it up. Let's it go and crack it. Well done, you did it, you did it. And you have washed your hands, haven't you, Emily? Yeah. Yeah, of course you have. Right, and then I'm going to do the other one. Um, here we go. So that's three eggs, three eggs into the bowl. And let go, perfect. So that's over there. Hold on, hold on. And then uh, we've got about a tablespoon of sugar. So about a tablespoon of sugar um, just in the bowl. And uh, we're just going to whisk, whisk up. So give it a whisk. I'll hold it. You whisk. That's it. Give it some. That's it. Brilliant. That's left, your left hand, aren't you? It's a left handed whisk. Are you still off school early? Are you going to go back to school at any point? No. no. Until it's... Until... <laughs> you can go back to school. Until you can go back. <laughs> well done, well done. Right, let, let Daddy give it a little whiskey whisk. Well, I've had a bit of practice recently, so... It's not right, so, eggs in there, sugar in there. And then, it's as simple as getting your other bits and bobs in there. So, 100 grams of flour in the bowl, Emily. Yeah. Bosh. Plain flour, simple, easy peasy. Lovely. Lovely. Whilst that's going on, um, I'm just going to get our pan in the oven. Um, I've got just a metal, a, a straightforward, there's a pan that goes in the oven. If you've got a skillet, fantastic. They work really, really well and they look really cool as well. But whilst it's all going on, I've got an oven at 200 degrees. Yep. Fan, which is super hot. Yeah. Um, be really careful, so make sure you've got yourself either a really thick tea towel or a big oven glove uh, when you're doing this as well. But whilst we're doing that, I'm just going to get that in the oven, uh, nice hot oven, and that's going to get super, super hot. So, let's give this a quick misc, misc, or a whisk. Oh, yeah, let's get you back, sorry. Let me just get back to your cooking station. Right, so we've got that. And then, um, we're going to go in with 150 ml of... Milk! Moo, milk. Moo milk. Moo milk. No milk. Straight in. Okay. I'm just going to start you off and then I'm going to need you to give this a... Right. Emily, get in there, give it a whisk. That's it. That is it. So you learn, you learn from last time, half the bowl makes it easier, doesn't it? Right, and then we've just got a couple of other bits. Um, 
We've got a little pinch of nutmeg, straight in, just some powdered nutmeg, and a nice pinch of cinnamon. This gives it a lovely, uh, little bit of spice and a lovely taste, doesn't it, darling? Yeah. Give it a whisk on. Out. Lastly, pinch of salt. So, um, basically, this recipe, if you take away the sugar and the spice, you've got a really cracking Yorkshire pudding recipe. We had that on Sunday, didn't we, darling? Yeah. Yeah, so you just um, take out the sugar, take out the spice, um, you've got the eggs, the milk, um, and the flour. You know, mix it, don't over mix it, the lumps are really, really good. Chill it uh, and get it into some hot oil so it puffs up and you've got a wonderful uh, Yorkshire pudding as well. So that's a double fret. Uh, recipe this one. Um, right, shall I give it a little little go? So, you know, you don't have a few lumps of corn. We don't mind the odd lump, do we, Emily? Yes. Three. But it still tastes good. It still, <laughs> it still tastes good. You heard it here first. Hopefully it tastes good. So, um, whilst that's going on, we've made our mix um, and we've got our pan in the oven. So I'm just going to get a nice thick oven glove like this. One oven glove. Very handy as well if you've got a lot of time in your hand and you want to play some puppet games <laughs> like that. Um, so we've got our super hot pan in the oven here. So I'm just going to get that out. Perfect. So I'll get you. Now don't touch this, Emily. Do not go near it. Don't touch it. Don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. It's so hot. Um, okay, you're allowed to look at it. Uh, then you get your butter in. And then it just, just smear that around. Whoa! Butter in, just get that around the hot pan, like so. And then in the hot pan, we're just gonna go straight in with our pancake batter, or Yorkshire batter, or Dutch baby batter um, in there. Not too sure where the name Dutch baby came from, uh, but I'll be sure to Google it and it's really after funny. this. It is funny, it's good though, isn't it? Baby. That baby in it. Yeah, you don't, obviously, we don't put that, any of those in it. So, we've got that. So, whilst we're doing that, we're just going to um, make some bits to pop in the, um, pop with the beautiful big uh, pancake. So, we've got um, the beautiful peaches, we've got some berries. So, all we're going to do with these, you can do it with raspberries, berries, strawberries. We've got a sort of, a, wall, a pan on the heat there, straight in with those. And then just a touch of sugar um, in there. All right? And we're just literally going to release some of the juices, okay? Release some of the juices from there. Um, that's the point. It might have been a bit hot, but that's okay. A bit hot, maybe? It might have been quite hot. There you go. So that will just, basically, just let some of the juices out, a bit of sugar, and that will be absolutely perfect. So that's, they're just going to sit there uh, and do their thing, which is, which is nice, right? Easy. Yeah. So we've got that. What I've also done with the peaches is rather than throw away all that wonderful juice, just pop it in a pan, a little bit of um, a little bit of vanilla paste, uh, and just a teaspoon of sugar, and then it gives it a lovely, wonderful flavour. So simple as that. So we've got our berries, we've got our beautiful peaches, uh, and we've got our um, syrup that I've just broken down a little bit, um, which is absolutely wonderful. I have popped one in the oven earlier, so this is how it should look when you're all done and dusted. Let's have a look. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks like a yolk. It does look like a big yolkie, doesn't it? Yeah. Lovely big yolkie. I mean, that would, as I say, does exactly the same thing, but it's got a bit of sweetness, a bit of spice. There it is, our Dutch paper pancake. Do not touch. Do not touch. It's so hot. It's so hot. So, to finish it off, we've got a couple of beautiful things. So, we've got these wonderful berries. Um, wonderful. Wonderful. We're just going to splot them all over there. There we go. And you can almost fill it up and then um, get it out, cut it open, and everyone can just dive in. So we've got the wonderful berries there. And the last couple of things are peaches. Peaches, and, and then there's obviously, the or maybe, lovely big fat juicy peaches. Um, obviously fresh peaches are wonderful. If you're using fresh peaches, just blanch them off uh, in some boiling water for a couple of minutes. Take off the skin um, and then slice them up. But that looks absolutely wonderful. And then our beautiful syrup. So Emily, do you want to do the honours with the syrup? So um, don't touch the pan. Yummy. Do you want to do, the, do a couple of spoonfuls of the syrup? I'll just bring it a bit closer to you. So let's grab, grab our mitt. Let's pop some of that beautiful, 
all over, all over the crust as well. That's it, all over, just, yeah, back in on there. Beautiful, let's get the rest of that on there. Oh, I'll get that in, sip, be careful the pan. Beautiful, lovely. All the syrup, and then lastly, one of your favorite things, mm. is this stuff. A couple of big scoops of vanilla ice cream. It's a little bit. Yeah, so a little bit soft. Straight on the top there. Oh, look. Wow, let's go out here. Well, let's go free. Let's go free scoops. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So that to cook that, um, literally it was in an oven at 200 degrees uh, for no more really than 12 to 15 minutes, but you'll see when it's done. And what I'm gonna do, Emily, should we go around a little bit closer to the camera and show them? Yeah. Come on, get off the top. Turn off. Oh, hang on a minute, can you do a bit of powdered sugar? What? Go on, just hang on. Yeah, throw it on. That's it, yeah, go crazy, that's it. So here we go. So let's go over to the camera. So here we have it, our Dutch baby, or big Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. What do you think, darling? You wanna tuck in? Yeah. Yeah, me first. Um, oh. Obviously, subscribe, YouTube, Kenny Tut. If you wanna follow the recipe, you can follow it at www.pitchrestaurant.co.uk for loads of delicious treats. Um, and I'll see you for the next one. Say bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Stay safe.